Well, hello kids. My name is Roberto Hernandez and I am part of the mentoring program. Um, I will be, I am very happy to be given this opportunity and show you guys a little bit about art. Um, I am an artist myself and I own a company for which I actually provide some services which include teaching. Um, I love sharing my passion for art and hopefully this class can benefit you all. So yeah, my name is Roberto Fernandez and uh, today I'm gonna be showing you shading. And these are the different line shading techniques. So the thing about shading is that in drawing, we have to use a technique called shading to simulate light and perspective and dimension. So for instance, if I have a light source that is here, right? Let's imagine that this is kind of like a theater, um, a theater light. And this light is shining at these four different spheres. So right now these four different spheres are not really spheres, they're circles. Um, but I want to create a sense of depth and perspective. So I'm gonna show you a couple of techniques that are gonna help you accomplish that. And the first one is called hatching. Um, line hatching is basically doing different lines that happen in the same direction as this or this or this but these lines must be um, parallel to each other in order for them to be hatching and how can I employ this hatching style on one of these circles and I am going to demonstrate that here. So if I drew this circle here, and I want to create some sense of depth, what I'm going to do is imagine my light source is right here, and then I start creating shadow on just on the right side of the, of the circle or sphere. And now this, gives it a sense of that, right? So this is the shadow being casted on the surface from the sphere being positioned on top of the surface. And this is called hatching technique. The next technique that I want to show you guys is called cross hatching technique. And cross-hatching technique is very similar to hatching technique, except in the sense that we are going to use uh, another hatching opposite and layered on top of the previous hatching that we just did. And it's going to look a little bit like this. So let's say this is my first hatching layering, and my secondary hatching layering will be inverse to that one to create this shape. So very simple, right? And I'm gonna demonstrate how we can incorporate this onto a light source again. And we can pretend that our light source here is beaming a light on our sphere over here. And I'm going to do my cross hatching on the right side of the sphere. And I'm gonna add the inverse second layer of my cross hatching on top of that one. And this is just the shadow
from the light source and the sphere being on a surface. So that is my second technique. Uh, next, I would like to do a demonstration on scribble. Um, and scribble is very easy to do. Um, obviously, if you can like do like a little scribble and use this to create um, shadow and perspective, I figured that it will be very, very easy. So we're gonna try to do that again here on this exercise, on this circle. Okay, and this is my scribble shading. And the next technique that I wanna show you guys is zigzag. Pretty sure that everybody knows how to do this one because the name is very self-explanatory. And I'm going to once again replicate this on my sphere model. And I'm gonna do a little zigzag over here. Oh, this one looks really fun. Okay. Um, the next one is called punctualism. And punctualism is just another name for dotting. So, just simple dots. And I'm gonna demonstrate this on my sphere over here. And we're just gonna do a couple of layers of dots. Okay, and this is punctualism. And for the next one, um, I would like for you guys to invent your own technique. Uh, after you guys are seeing how line can be utilized to create shadows um, and give inanimate objects a sense of perspective and dimension, now I want you guys to maybe come up with one and see what you guys can come up with, okay? So um, I feel like this will be a great point for you guys to try to practice these techniques, um, replicate the different styles that I used here, and come up with your own um, technique. And yeah, I will be very excited to see what you guys come up with, okay? Okay, and I am back. Um, I hope that everybody has some really cool designs made on your piece, pieces of paper, and um, I wish I could be there to see them. Um, but I guess you can show them to your peers, and hopefully you can practice this line shading technique more often in your own personal drawing techniques or drawing styles. So I'm gonna continue with the demonstration here and we're gonna delete we're gonna erase all of this okay and for the following uh, demo. Uh, I am going to use the Hispanic mentoring logo 
and I'm going to um, work on different line shading techniques and I'm just going to show you different things on how you can incorporate all of these different elements um, onto different styles of drawing. Okay, so I'm going to be adjusting my tablet. So basically when I draw, uh, when I do typography, which is what I'm going to be doing today, I start by extending lines in the horizon as sharp and as straight as I can. So that will be, I will need three lines. Okay, that one wasn't too good, but I think we can. Okay, there we go. So now the second step that I will do is I will use these lines as margins. Okay, so there is Okay. And for those of you that you don't that don't know this decorations that we see at the top and bottom of each letter are called serifs. Um, that's the reason why you see in a lot of uh, font types sans serif, um, bold serif, blah blah blah. So like that's exactly what that is referring to. are this completes the top part logo of Hispanic and I'm gonna be working on the bottom part so it completes the whole logo as Hispanic mentoring And just so you guys know, when you guys are making drawings, 
um, never be afraid to make mistakes in the race because that is a crucial part of what we do as artists. And almost done. This is a very weird. Okay, and there it is, Hispanic mentoring. So now what I'm going to show you is um, how to add a little bit of shading to this um, composition that I created here. And for that, we are going to imagine that my light source is coming from here. This is light source A. We're gonna call this light source A. So if I cast a shadow on this light, what it's going to do is that it's going to drop and you can use whichever line shadowing technique you would like to use at this point. Uh, I'm gonna use zigzag because I think zigzag will be like cooler to do. It just looks like a lot more fun. So there. So that's my shadow, my drop shadow for the H. Um, Now I'm changing it a little bit to scribble over there, as you guys can see, but it's still like zigzag scribble. Now we have the whole Hispanic part of the logo completed. And I'm gonna move over to mentoring.
Okay. So there it is. I have my Hispanic mentoring logo completed and um, I'm kind of proud of it. I think I did a really good job considering how quick I worked on it. So what I will ask you now at this point is that you select uh, an image or a design or maybe you can use your hand and try to create uh, a light source, whether on the left or the right, um, and cross hatch whichever, uh, or not cross hatch, use uh, one of the many different uh, shading techniques that I just showed you to create a sense of light and perspective and depth. Um, remember that you can select where you want to have your light source. Uh, in this case, I selected my right side, but it doesn't have to be on the right side for you. If you want, you can select the left side and you can create like a little light point and this will be your light source. Um, and I think this will conclude the beginning of my first um, video class that I will be instructing you. Uh, this video class is called or is titled Different Line Shading Techniques. Uh, in the future, I will I will be doing different videos in which I will be instructing you how to do a little bit far more complicated but fun techniques that you can incorporate into your drawings. Um, but at this point, uh, this, uh, this is the end of the class or the demo online uh, through video or whichever medium you guys are using. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I am Roberto Hernandez uh, mentoring uh, based community community program uh, member and I hope you guys enjoy it thank you